Oh, we've had, uh, I've had interviews where people think that they're applying for a job in a car company, not a home furnishing company. So they think that they're applying for a job for Kia, not IKEA. Uh, so this guy came in talking all about his favourite cars and what model he liked and that he owned a Kia. And you know, I said to him, oh, you're talking a lot about cars. Why, why are you so interested me to know about the car? And he said, well, you're a car company, right? No, we're a home furnishing uh, company. Uh, hey. Yeah, which is Swedish for hello. Uh, my name is Malcolm Pras, and I'm the retail country manager for IKEA in Mexico. So I, um, uh, I finished high school, uh, and I, I wasn't uh, much of a, a studier. I played a lot of golf and chased a lot of girls, but I didn't study much. Uh, so then I went straight to work. Uh, I worked for another retailer for 10 years doing some uh, a little bit of development in department store retailing before I joined IKEA. And then when I joined IKEA, uh, I think the, the thing that helped me to grow and develop the most is the mentorship that you get uh, and the development that you get through different leadership programs, uh, but also having somebody by your side all the way to help you grow each time. And I think the key to IKEA, more often than not, is you tend to be given a job that's a little bit bigger than your ability is at the time, so that you grow into it. It makes you hungry, it gives you lots of uh, opportunity to grow and develop and challenge your own leadership. Yeah? And then I think uh, we spend more time working on the leadership part than we do sometimes on the competence part. Uh, the competence part comes naturally, but it's how we grow our leaders that I think is something that uh, IKEA can be proud of. One of the things that we will give is development and growth opportunities. Uh, we're not employing people for jobs. Uh, everybody's a talent. Uh, so that means that when you join us, uh, we hire you because of you, not always because of what you've done. Sometimes that counts, sometimes it doesn't. We're more interested in you as a person, your values, uh, where you come from, the experiences that you've had in life. That's really important because quite often you're defined more by the experiences you've had in life than where you have studied or been educated. Uh, and that we find uh, is a really valuable thing for us. I think one of the things that you need to be able to show is uh, an interest in your home. Uh, if you love our products, then that's always a good start for us. One of the questions we will almost always ask you is what's your favorite room in your home? And then what's your favorite uh, piece of furniture in your home? Uh, we learn a lot about you. I can't tell you what we learn, but I can tell you we learn a lot about you uh, when, uh, uh, when we ask you that question. And of course, uh, some of the other characteristics are how you show your values during the interview. So what you believe in, what you stand for as a person, what you think is right, what you think is wrong. And then of course, what will definitely uh, not get you a, a job in IKEA is if you have a lot of prestige, if it's just about the money, yeah, and if you're not interested in home furnishings, then probably we're not a fit for you. So we know when somebody is trying to be something different than that. But I don't expect that we will have that problem here in, in Mexico at all. I, I think we're really well connected, uh, IKEA and Mexico.